you tell us something about what the sky actually looks like from the moon, the sun, the earth, the stars, if any, and so on? The sky is uh, a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the earth and the moon. The sky is uh, a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon. Hey Chris, it's uh, Katrina from the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. We all say hi. Um, Astro YYZ here. Anyway, um, as an amateur astronomer, I'm interested in knowing what astronomical objects can be seen from the ISS, given you have so many lights around you, lights and machines. And is there anywhere dark you can go on station where you can look out and really get dark adapted and see what's out there? Yes, yeah, sort of like a little kid leaving home, mo most of our glances are back towards Mother Earth. But we do have windows that face the rest of the universe. And I spent some time looking at, at some uh, actually yesterday, looking at one yesterday, um, and remarking on actually just your question that uh, the sky is almost white with, with the light of the universe, with the uncountable number of stars. The sky is uh, a deep black. Uh, the sky is almost white with, with the light of the universe, with the uncountable number of stars. sky is uh, a deep black. You can't see the constellations because the sky is just so alive with stars. The most unexpected thing I think was um, the blackness of space. most unexpected thing I think was um, the blackness of space. When you look the opposite direction uh, and you see how dark space is, I mean it's the blackest black and you realize just how small the earth is in that blackness. And that when you look where I look out at the stars and I see so many stars and planets, and so many stars and planets. Uh, the sky is almost white with, with the light of the universe, with the uncountable number of stars. And what you see is an immensely deep blackness. There. And then when you look the other way, it's the whole universe, and the blackness is is a palpable blackness. It's not just dark. It's it's uh, forever. The sky is uh, a deep black, and what you see is an immensely deep blackness. A blackness that it, it's like a black with texture. It's like a black, sort of like black velvet, but without any shininess to it at all. You can't see the constellations because the sky is just so alive with stars. How dark space is. I mean, it's the blackest black, and you realize just how small the Earth is in that blackness, and that was a real surprise to me. And we have to realize that in space, without the intervening atmosphere, <clears throat> The heavens are ten times as bright, stars ten times as numerous. And what you see is an immensely deep blackness. Billions and billions of stars, and you can see it. In fact, they're so numerous, it's very difficult to pick out the constellations you and I see here on the ground. A blackness that it, it's like a black with texture. It's like a black, sort of like black velvet, but without any shininess to it at all. Some of the stars have colors we don't see here on the ground. So you see these pastel colors uh, 
light yellows, light pinks, light oranges, even light red ones and light blue. There's all kinds of colors. An immensely big blackness. It's not just dark. It's white with, with the light of the universe, with the uncountable number of stars. When you look the opposite direction, uh, and you see how dark space is. I mean, it's the black is black. I live in Colorado. You get up in a clear night in Colorado up in the mountains where there's no light and you can see all these stars. Well, multiply that by a thousand. That's what it's like in space. It's not just dark. It's, it's uh, forever. And that when you, when I look out at the stars and I see you know, so many stars and planets and so many stars and planets. You can see the stars. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. You know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. Yeah. It's, it's not it's a black void. The sky is uh, a deep black. But there's more than stars. You can see planets. You can right. see moons. An immensely deep blackness. You can see a zodiacal light. Whoa. Uh, those, those are amazing. Right before the lights the of the zodiac. The lights of the zodiac.